All right, and we are back with the Wario Land 3 randomizer race. Alongside me in the race is Pigeon, as usual. Today, the settings that we'll be using are uh, open mode and powerful start. And as usual, we are removing the junk and giving the QOLs. And then the difficulty that is set is hard. So... This makes use of some obscure things that are more difficult. But it does not need glitches. And we're, and we're off. And we know for sure now that one of our power-ups is not... We've got flippers, boots, and overalls. Oops. Okay, so good start. Wow, that is a very useless N1. And the boxes are restricted, so we know for sure that... ...that things will not be... ...needing glitches, just... Some pretty obscure things. It's nice to know that the boots are given to us right away, too, because that means we can do bounces right away. Alright, the blue eye is going to do nothing for us. However, we have multiple purposes. For visiting, and two. We're going to do the green first because we need to do this at night, whereas the red we can just do during the day. We'll get the coin immediately. So the only chest we can't get here is the blue. That is totally fine. The rust spray. That is interesting. You don't usually get that item so early on. Well, that was that was just unfortunate. Well, that's just awkward. All right, now the red chest is done. So 
So the big thing that I'm concerned about would be outswimming currents using flippers and N5. Alright, N3. For now, we can only logically do the gray. I'll actually get some extra coins just in case. Okay, now I'm just being bad at the game. There's our sky key. So the sky key will give me access to S6. good thing we got here during the day as well. does nothing for me right now. But we're not done with the west region here. We've also narrowed out two bosses so far. So the two bosses we've narrowed out so far are N1 Blue and W4 Red. So that means there are only eight bosses left that can potentially have a music box. And now with Beanstalk Seeds... I'm going to hold my movement for just a bit because I inadvertently benefited from exit compressing speed. Okay. I'm going to get the green out of the way immediately, because this way then... Okay. boss music. I only have music shuffle as on, so it's not chaotic. Thank you. 
All right. And at least this way now, I can go right from north to south. And there's a glove. So that means now I can do E1 green once I get the stone foot. Now, S1. And that's three bosses now narrowed out. As for S3, it could potentially have something. And S6, the... Only the blue is out of commission for S6. Unfortunately, since I don't have red overalls, I have to jump down. The reason why this is good is because I can also do the red. And now we're two away from triggering the eruption. We have two towards triggering the eruption, not two away. Go into the moon. It'll save time having to go from it. the top to the bottom. So there's one. Is completely fine. And with that, we've gotten S6 red without the helmet. And there's the second blue eye. So it was a good thing that we did. It was a good thing that that was done first. This means now I can get two chests in S3. Now I'm going to do the red chest first, which, since I don't have garlic, I don't have garlic, I have to do this the conventional way. Luckily, I do plan on getting three coins here. Oh no. 
thought I was going to be able to beat him. But, apparently not. Ow. Okay, so now we can get the red key. This time I will not fall for this. It was definitely a good thing that I went back to N3 before committing going to anything in here in the south. And the mirror gives me access to E5. Now, E5, on the other hand, does not have logic changes, at least when considering hard difficulty. The only thing there is the merciless one. Now we get the great key. And this will be done before we head to east. Because knowing east, E1 in particular, we're going to have two music boxes there. Now, we have the Grey. And what will the Grey get us? A document piece. So I'm expecting that we'll see the second document piece here pretty shortly. And E1 doesn't even have the Grey chest available. Well, that's just dumb. Oh well. E4, we can't get the red, but we can get everything else. E5, we can only get the gray, because we have the glove. And E7, we can't get the red. So, we'll do E5 first. There we go. And there's the pedal. So now we have access to E2. And only the gray chest can be do here. Even with just the gray chest, that is totally fine.
Last thing I want there is undershooting a jump. And there's the freeze cane, which does nothing for me now. Okay. No more prolonging it. It's time to do E4. And not mess it up. Very easy. Gray chest. And we'll follow it with the green. There's the second document half, so we have now opened up W2. In fact, so has W6 been opened up. Now that W2 axis is there. garlic, I can't do the red here yet. Yet, however, is the keyword. Hmm. The growth seed will be handy for W5 and N5, but I don't have access to those stages yet. And another boss has been narrowed out. Sheesh, these bosses have really proved are really proving to be a letdown. Ooh. W6, on the other hand, we can do both. We'll start with the gray. Because we can take the shortcut through. Getting that shortcut is always nice. And the funny thing is, I can't actually do anything in W2 yet. Since I need trolley wheels. Or the stone foot. But on the other hand, W6 I can clear up. Just very recently I learned that you can that you can access the golf without overalls. The overalls have just been the conventional method every time. So, nothing wrong with showing off that as well. With that, 
we are out of W6. And our prize is the Beardy Staff. Which means we are heading back to E2. So we got the flame from W6. Am I going to get the lantern here? Is the question. Nope, trolley wheels. And trolley wheels gets me access to W2 red. Now, now we just get the remainder of that. Now the question is, is this going to be the stone foot? Or am I going to get trolled again? Nope, it'll be garlic though, which is... Just as good. So this gives me E4 red access. And <laughs> looks like that's it. Oh, and I did not mark off E5 gray. Whoops. So far, I'm kind of surprised at the lack of hard logic tricks right now. Of course, the moment I say that, I jinx it, and now there's going to be a lot more hard logic tricks coming up. to get damage boosted. Right there.
And the funny thing is, is that because of the power-ups that I have... Because of the power-ups that I have, none of the hard logic tricks in N6 will be applicable. Okay, so... W3 definitely has our first... Uh, music box. And that is the only one that we're gonna have. Oh well. So even though I have overalls... Whoops. Even though I have overalls to do this instead, pro strats are cooler. Now, had I not had overalls, then I would have still... I would have done that without it anyways. Now, what does the golden glove get me right now? would give me access to S... No, it wouldn't. It would be very close to giving me access to S3. But I don't quite have access to it yet. So, now we deal with the fun that is Wolfen Boss. Whoops. There we go. Eh, take him out. And there we go. Yeah, the golden glove would open up W4 green, but I need red overalls to do that. And wow, we actually did not get the blue music box first. That is a very big rarity. And now here's where that growth seed came into play.
can only do green here since we need both chemicals for the blue. We get... There's our lantern. And that means we are off to E3. As expected, only the gray is available. Scissors. So the scissors means the scissors mean that we do S6 green. Unfortunate that we have key shuffle enabled. Not enabled. Soft reset was necessary. Oh, that's okay. That's what we would call annoying, but a minor inconvenience only. Good thing that there is light at the top of this, otherwise I'd have to really spend time. And now that we have the stone foot, I think it's time I go destroy some bosses. first.
All right. Now, just in case I mess up. Took a second try, but the boss never spawned, so we're okay. There's our second music box. But we're not done here yet. Just get the mouse robot away. It's unfortunate that we can't do the N6 Grey boss. But even with that minor inconvenience, we've still probably got a double down here. Or we get two in a row. And we're right. So now, and four, we have all four chests available. Now if I wanted to, I could skip the pump and get the blue chest. For now, we'll do gray and red. And if we get super flippers, then we get blue as well. Or green, not blue. So what will our prize be for the red? We get windbag. That does absolutely nothing. Now, we'll go ahead and do There we go. Third try is the charm. And 
here's hoping that this ends up leading to something very useful as well. Wow, that one went really well this time. So what will our prize be for the blue chest? Sunstone. That does nothing for me. Oh well, can't say I didn't take a risk. As for N5, I am going to do both here. Because the only thing that's preventing me from getting... That's preventing me from getting the green... Is the Wire Wizard. But I can do Wire Wizard Skip. And then suddenly I don't even need it. So yes, I will do it. I will go ahead and skip the wire wizard. All right. Uh, apparently, I marked off freeze spell earlier, but not freeze game. <laughs> Whoops. Oh well, that's in order now. Time for Wire Wizard Skip. Now we don't need to go back to N5. And zombie blood, unfortunately, though, does nothing. Alright, N6. We can do the red. However, we got the golden glove a while back. We don't have the valve, though. I don't have the help.
Nice quick hole. Now we got daytime in the east. Not that it will really make a difference, but hey, we take what we get. Um. Yeah, I can't do that. I need helmet. Let's see, don't have both chemicals. I need red overalls for that. I still have not done S2 though. And S2, I can clear outright. So, the question really becomes, what am I going to get? Super flippers. And there aren't that many bosses left, either. Now I need a moment to think here. The only two bosses left either will need red overalls or helmet. So literally, I'm just constrained by a power-up, assuming this is a music box. And we have... Music box. So, this does mean that we're heading back to S2. What I'm doing is out of logic, sure. However... Pretty much, I'm limited in what I'm looking for. 
Goldeneye is not reassuring. Could I have potentially maybe done that without it? Maybe. Eh, oh well. Too late now. Powder does nothing. hoping that the green chest does something. Still have a 30 coin cost, which is good. I've been getting really good luck with these holes. It's like I've only been getting part threes. And that's perfect. So, is this a power-up? Nope, lightning trident. That's alright, but you can still go to S5. And it's anything but the gray. We don't have the detonator, so we can't do the... We can't do the green, so it's red or blue. We're going to follow the logic that is actually hard difficulty. Wow. Not how this is supposed to go. When in doubt, follow the logic. Follow the more difficult logic. There's our red overalls. So now we have a 50 50 shot. This, of course, means we are going to. W1.
Oh, come on. There we go. Either this is the music box, or we have to find the helmet. So, which one is it going to be? Given just how fast the red overalls seem to have come, I'm going to guess this is not the music box. But I will be pleasantly surprised to be wrong. And fortunately for me, I am wrong. But this does mean that the helmet is the final answer. There's the second golden eye. However, we don't have the wire wizard yet, so we can't actually make use of it. Oh, we can go to W4 now. Wait, what am I doing? Much better. I'm gonna actually have to do this the conventional way. Now it's time to do this. I suppose when I get a chance. What 
when I get a chance, I will want to mark off chests that are completely undoubted and not be what I'm going to be looking for. And this basically is just narrowing down to chests. That require the helmet. Which... The, uh... The blue chest of S3 is one of those. And the reason why that is, is because you need the helmet for that. The pickaxe does nothing right now. Oh, and I did complete W2. Wait, no I didn't. Oh, but I am stupid. I could have done this before, too. For some reason, I proceeded under the guess that I did not have... Super Flippers. Of course I did. is helpful. Now... So what is my prize for E3? It is the lightning spell. And didn't I already complete... Yeah, I thought I did. I forgot to mark off the one thing for... Uh, E4. Okay. S4 is everything but the gray. We'll do the red first, just because it's the shortest of them.
There's the detonator. So here's hoping this is what we need. Fifty coin cost now, so I'll have to be careful. Mashed it faster. Okay. Well, It is... Wire Wizard. So that does get me the green for S3, but it does not get me the blue. Now his four is clear. And it gives us fire extinguisher, which does nothing right now. Okay. 
so what will we get? I suppose I could probably head to N6 now that I'm thinking about it as well. I don't know if the helmet will be there. But if the helmet is there... Ooh. Interesting. E6. Will it be a handy progression? Or is it just going to troll me? Uh, for now, it's just going to troll me. But I still have another shot. Time to figure out if that fire extinguisher pays off. Here we go. Where is that helmet? It's not an E6. But that does give me two more chests, so... In a way, it's not all bad. Now N2 is cleared out, and I was going to mark off S3 as well. Let's see, Air Pump does absolutely nothing. This is why we curse the helmet. Why we curse the helmet for being so forgettable.
So, and three blue is our remote control. Even though I don't have the night vision goggles. I can still at least get the green out of the way. Oh, what am I doing? I am choking. Surely this is something, right? Nope. It is the pointless moon gong. This isn't it, then I guess I'm gonna have to go back to S3. Why I went to the current, I had no reason to. What is our prize for W5 Blue? It is... Night Vision Goggles. Great. Now I have to go right back into N6, don't I? Here's hoping this is the helmet. No, it is not. So we're down to seven chests now. We'll do E5 first because it's on the way. 
Whoops, what am I doing? Oh no, it's going to make me do E5 blue now. At the very least, I'm taking solace in the fact that I know that I cannot possibly pull through this. that I will not have to full clear it. Because technically speaking, I could possibly full clear it if I wanted. But I'd have no reason to. S3 green. Watch this be the jackhammer. Nope, it's the valve. <laughs> it's going to send me on a wild goose chase. I think it's safe for me to guess that this will probably not be what I need. Of course, I could be wrong, but the odds still aren't guaranteed. And I'd be willing to bet that S3 blue is the snake. be the helmet, the red key card, or the jackhammer. It is the helmet. Okay, so we are good to go. And that must mean that S3 blue is the jackhammer. Well, actually, this isn't necessarily true. Whatever the 
whatever the last chest is in this order is the sneak move. That's the only for sure thing. But at the very least, I did not fall for the trap. That's better. Okay. So, finished first place with the race time of 1 hour, 32 minutes, and 30 seconds. So yeah, S3 is either red key card or jackhammer. Whichever one that, and then whichever one that is, unlocks the other. And then the last one unlock, the last one is the snake blue. So if it's the jackhammer, then E6 has the red key card. And then E5 blue would have the snake blue. And if it was the red key card, it would be that E5 blue has the jackhammer, which leads to E6 green, which has the snake blue. Either way, the snake blue was not at all necessary. That's the known thing here. In terms of pace... I finished a few chests behind, and S3 blue had the jackhammer, so then E6 green had the red key card, and then E5 blue had the blue. So really, I was looking for E6 access to get the propeller. Or not the propeller. Uh, I was looking for the wire wizard actually, because that gave me S3 green, which gave the valve, which then led to the spike helmet. So that's how I would have been able to finish much faster. All things considered, this was quite a benign seed for a hard difficulty. But still, it was a good seed. That will be the conclusion of my race perspective. So, thank you for watching, as always.